Oh, here is some cool stuff I got. So I ordered, I, well, I didn't order this, but I got this on DSM Tuners. It's an unorthodox racing uh, pulley. Uh, oh, yeah, we can, we can compare this to uh, to the um, stock pulley. But um, let's go take a look at the, the harmonic dampener. All right, so here I have uh, the stock harmonic balancer. It still looks in excellent shape still, actually, I think. And uh, an or unorthodox uh, racing pulley. Um, it's actually an underdive pulley. Now you can tell. Line it up to uh, the old one. The other one is slightly bigger, slightly. So uh, what well, you know what that means? Your alternator and your air conditioner are not, and your power steering are gonna not be powerful anymore. <laughs> is what it means. But uh, your engine will not be working as hard to drive those components, which is why they call this underdrive pulley. It underdrives your um, your accessory belts, and um, it's lighter and it spins. Uh, it supposedly spins. Well, it spins everything slower. So it doesn't have to work as hard, so you get more horsepower. Uh, I got it for 50 bucks. What a bargain. It's super easy to install. The, it only has these four bolts here. And uh, I did check. I know this one has, I know my car has adjustable timing. There's a little notch here for that timing thing. It looks like a great piece of a, very nice piece of aluminum. I like it. I like it a lot. It's super light too compared to this. Oh my god, it's so heavy, dude. Car is going to rev much better. Well, I don't know. It would have that, um, it probably has the same effect as uh, having a lighter flywheel, maybe. Probably not as much as a lighter flywheel, but um, yeah. So, um, one of the things about these, uh, these, uh, I will, uh, actually, hold on. Alright, I kind of apologize for the poor lighting. I'm in the garage, I didn't have the lights on. But, um, yeah, so uh, so you can see they kind of balance the pulley a little bit. So this thing is well balanced already, and they've cut holes out here. Anyway, so uh, one thing about these harmonic balancers, well, I mean, what they're there for is is to um, you know that's why they call it harmonic balancer. It keeps uh, helps keep your uh, crank balanced and stuff. But hey, that's why you have balance shafts, right? So uh, you shouldn't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Modern engines don't have these anymore. Supposedly, some of them. I mean, my 420A never had one. It just had a, it just had a crank pulley, and that's not a harmonic balancer. But anyway, you can see there's um, there's a pieces of rubber, a rubber insulator here, here, and um, that's what holds these two, uh, the pulley section, the one with the, the has kind of like uh, the grooves for the belt, to the the actual thing that holds that connects to the crank, and um, this is the this is the dampening part here and the bad thing the why I don't like these is because over time they the the rubber deteriorates see it's, this one's kind of getting hard but it's still in good shape um, and uh, it can cause it to separate and that's uh, that can't be good right so we just eliminate it with this it's a one solid piece of aluminum very well uh, very well uh, built Tell you that. Uh, I have one installed on that Eclipse right there too, just in case you're wondering. And uh, I haven't had any problems with it besides uh, my car vibrates a bit, but uh, I think that's because I have a uh, I have a uh, urethane motor mounts, <laughs> full solid urethane motor mounts and inserts. So yeah, so that's an interesting thing to know about a uh, underdrive pulleys um, and why I prefer I prefer this over this because this is less things to fail. It's less things to fail. It underdrives your accessories, which I don't I don't really know how it affects uh the gallant, but I mean hey it's gonna make your accessories run crappy when when it's probably when your car's idling. So that's one thing you have to remember. Like if you are a guy that likes to run those high power uh high power like thousand, two thousand watt uh Oh, um, sound systems, well then this is probably not a mod that you want to do or, or a bolt-on part you want to install um, but I mean for a race car it's perfect because race cars are they're always revving, 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 revving and, and it's lighter 
it's lighter and it spins slower. Or it's fast or it spins faster. So well, no, it's like a, if you think about it, this is equivalent to the front sprocket on a mountain bike, right? So when you go down the sprocket, it makes it easier to turn because you have more torque. So um so so basically that's how you're freeing out the power. How, how you're being able to make more power is because your engine has not have to work as hard to turn the accessories. Um, also, I mean, another thing you can do to underdrive your components is to put a, uh, in the back, put a bigger sprocket. So you, if you put a bigger sprocket on your compressor, your air, air compressor, the AC compressor, I mean, the, the power steering pump, and what else? It's the alternator it would have the same effect of shrinking this. Um, interesting thing to note, on a supercharged engine that runs off of the belts, um, they do the opposite. They have an overdrive pulley, like my, my supercharged MR2 has a HKS pulley and it's larger than the stock pulley. So it would actually be larger than this. And what that does is it overdrives your components, it makes them spin faster. Faster, 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 faster. So when you spin it faster and you're spinning your supercharger, it puts out more boost. That's so that's how you make more boost in a supercharged car. It's uh, interesting stuff, right? So, but in this car, we don't need anything like an overdrive pulley because uh, we don't have a supercharger. It would be it would be kind of cool to put a supercharger. If you could find out how to throw a supercharger onto this manifold here. Can make a twin charge go on, and uh, there's plenty of space in the back of the, of the engine on the go on. So uh, yeah, if you wanted to really, uh, you wanted a fun, interesting, uh, very uh, challenging project, throw a supercharger on this bad boy. <laughs> anyway, so that's how, uh, so that's how uh, underdrive pulleys work. Uh, I just I, I didn't intend for this to turn into a little tutorial, but uh, yeah, this this is my that's my uh, that's my reasoning for going with the this unorthodox racing pulley because uh, it's a maintenance issue is what I was saying. But I I mean honestly I didn't want to underdrive it. I like my components to run like they're supposed to from the factory, and this one's gonna make it run a little bit not as strong at idle at idle. So, but um, I mean, once you get, once you're driving, it'll be fine. Your car will charge fine, your car will turn fine. It's just when you get into those low RPMs, um, those components aren't going to be driving as strong. Um, and my AC still works good in that car too. So, you know. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I am an advocate for at least the underdrive pulley for the Eclipse and Galant and Talon and. The DSMs. <laughs> so yeah, because uh, because this can fail. They also have something called a fluid damper. I don't really know how it works, but I think it's a fancy harmonic balancer, and it's supposed to give you more power. But uh, I think I like this one better. Um, and it looks cool. It's a little bling bling for your engine. Now you're never gonna see it. <laughs> it's it's on the crank. It's buried at the bottom of the engine, right? But. Uh, but I, you know, I highly suggest getting one. Uh, I got this one for fifty bucks. So that's a good deal. They actually sell a whole kit too for with the um, with the pulleys for the the uh, power steering and all that. But I just, I just like I said, it's a maintenance issue. Uh, I didn't want. I don't like the fact of having this deteriorate and separating, and then you're gonna have a bad day, right? So. No chance of that happening here. They do say like, hey, oh, it's this a harmonic balancer. It's there for a reason to get rid of vibrations and stuff. But uh, like I said, I had it on that car. That's a 2G 7 volt Eclipse, and they suffer from crank walk, and it does not crank walking. So I'm gonna say it's okay. And this is a uh, this is going on a six bolt Galant. So there you go. So it's, uh, well, I don't know, I haven't tried it yet, but uh, for now, it gives, Hades Omega gives his uh, seal of approval for unorthodox, unorthodox racing police. Hades Omega out.